the sky is just one of the best sunrises I've seen in many a year. The way the sky is positioning itself right in front of the cave is just absolutely incredible. Good morning everyone, welcome to this week's video. A bit of a different one this morning, I've got a really early start and I've come up the coast because we've got some really nice high cloud on the horizon. And this is a location I haven't been to for quite some time. This morning I'm at Caves Beach and there's some really nice sea caves here along the coastline. I'd like to get a sunrise with the framing of the cave if I can. So I've made my way up here this morning. I'm going to head down to the cave shortly, just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter. This is one location that does get very busy with photographers, so we'll see how we go. made my way down inside Caves Beach here this morning and we've just got an absolutely spectacular sky out there. Just couldn't ask for better conditions here this morning. So far I've got the cave to myself. There's been one fella come up and take a couple of photos with his phone but I'm actually just going to keep running around now. I'm just shooting some long exposures of this beautiful epic sky. I want to capture as much of this as I can and while I've got that beautiful light and then I'll stop and talk to you shortly. The pre-dawn sky was on fire with colour so I quickly snapped a single horizontal image. I soon realised with conditions this good and with the width of the cave being over 18 metres a multiple single image vertical panorama was required to capture as much detail as possible. I leveled up my tripod and then my inbuilt camera level and captured six vertical images to create one large high resolution panorama. Although more work, the final image if printed would be far superior. I've just got that colour out on the horizon, the first part of that early morning glow starting to light up that high cloud that's really getting a fiery red colour in it just looks absolutely beautiful. I've come across to this side of the cave and I'm just working with wherever the light is. At the moment the light's now starting to shift down towards the southern end of the cave. Earlier this morning it was up towards the north end of the cave but as there's clouds moving down the coastline the light's moving with it so I'm just adjusting my compositions but yes yeah, so far I've got a number of images that look okay on the back of the screen. I won't really know until I get home and post-process them but yeah what a what a beautiful morning beautiful sunrise I was actually out last night trying to shoot a sunset that turned into a little bit of a fizzer so I went home feeling a little bit deflated and I thought not to be beaten I saw the conditions this morning and I thought I would come back here and try again and I'm so glad I did it's really reinvigorated me to have such a beautiful morning here This morning was like no other. The beautiful light in the sky remained for over an hour, giving me multiple opportunities to take different images from either side of the cave. Still shooting panoramas here. It's got this absolutely amazing sky. Oh goodness me, what a morning. The sky is just one of the best sunrises I've seen in many a year. I've seen some good ones. I've been really lucky over the years to shoot quite regularly but the way the sky is positioning itself right in front of the cave is just absolutely incredible. Just hoping these come out, though these panoramas work. I'm just going to go back and try and do a single shot so I'll put you guys down. I've shot enough of the panoramas. So I've done a number of panoramas and I've actually done some single shots as well just to try and make sure 
I cover myself. But what an amazing sky. This has just been absolutely incredible this morning. I'm just going to take you outside the cave to be able to try and show you what I've captured. I've come outside the cave now and I'm actually just down in the foreground here with some of these nice beautiful green rocks here. It's such an amazing place for landscape photography, especially if you get conditions like I've had this morning. As you can see we've still got some beautiful colour out on the horizon. I'm going to get myself set up here and try and utilise some of these rocks in the foreground. See if I can grab a couple of shots of these. The beauty of walking around with this little action camera that I'm doing the video with is quite often I'll spot compositions through the frame and it actually gives me some ideas to actually take my camera up and frame up a similar shot and that's what I've actually done here. I've got this nice little channel leading out towards the sunrise in front of me with these really nice green mossy rocks in the foreground. Just a lovely way to finish off the morning here and just get some more of this spectacular sunrise out on the horizon. There's the sun hitting the horizon now. It's got some really beautiful light. Just waiting for it to try and light up some of these rocks here in the foreground and pass some light across some of this water that I've got happening in front of me. I've had a couple of questions lately that people have asked me is how do I predict really nice sunrises and sunsets? The great things that we have at our disposal these days are weather apps for being able to predict good conditions and that's exactly what I used here this morning. I used two apps. I used one called Windy and the other one called Clear Outside. Windy is a free app that you can download and what I do with Windy is I actually go through and look to see if there's going to be any high cloud at sunrise with very minimal, medium or no low cloud and that's exactly what we got this morning. The other app Clear Outside predicted this morning that we were going to have 100% high cloud. Once I know I'm going to get really good conditions it's just a matter of trying to pick a location that suits the cloud formation where the cloud's going to be because I know it's going to light up and that certainly paid dividends here this morning as you'll see with some of the images. Well guys that's it for this week's video you know what to do if you've enjoyed the content of this video go down below hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel then please subscribe tap that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content if you've got a comment or a question leave them below I'll always respond the images are coming up shortly and I'll see you again in the next one
At the end of the morning I ended up with five high resolution panoramas. On any other given day would have been happy with just one of these images. The morning really was as good as it gets.